What I'm going to go over today is some of the on-screen controls and status for the milling machine that's attached. Number one up here, this machine has been pre-homed so everything is all set. If I use the move to command, I can move it to the center of the work area. If I use zoom out, zoom O, I zoom out a little bit, the blue box represents the machine limits. And if I move to a limit, past the limit, it will only go to the limit. By right clicking, I'm repeating the last command, which is a move to command. At the bottom of the screen, I have USB OK, USB OK, and arm pod pulling. These are status of the USB connection. Right next to it, I have a relay A. By clicking on that, I toggle the relay A on, which turns on the spindle motor. Off and on. Next to that is Relay B. On this exercise, I have a light bulb hooked up to it, a little lamp. And that's Relay B toggling on and off. Just to the ne next of that is the limit switch statuses, the home switch status for X, Y, and Z. By Clicking on the button, the limit switch, the status is shown on the screen. This is for the Y. And the Z I can't get to. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the set surface command. I'm going to pull the slider bar down and that'll give me the access to the Z limit switch and by engaging it the status changes on the screen. Right next to that in the green area is the coordinates of the machine currently and then it says inches per second so that means the uh, speeds are set for inches per second next to that is a status bar called selected and by clicking on that I deselect it when I deselect it I can manually move with difficulty the machine and then I can select it again. When it's selected, there's no way to move it. And you can see that it moves on screen too. Once I have a move the slider bar down to where it's just touching the surface. I click on the set surface command. Now it believes that that is where the surface of the material is. I have an up command which moves it above the surface of the material. This area right down here is the altitude boxes and I'm going to change that to 0.5 and that's the surface coordinate so when I go up it moves it a half inch above right next to the selected bar you see it says stopped and move and it's 0.5 inches above if I click on the down command well I'm click on the surface command and it's going to move it to the surface of the material 
and down and when it goes down it automatically turns on the spindle motor because it thinks that it's cutting into the material up and up and it's left the relay on the Z max command moves it all the way the Z axis all the way up to the top and I'll use the move to command to move it over into the corner and then under the control pull down there's a home command and what it does is it moves up and then it moves to to engage a switch and then it moves to engage the X and Y switch 